extension to post World Cup, all these things that when you feel about it this year, but all new coaches, all new captains, is there a, you guys are intact? Is there a different feel for the championship for you? Uh, well, I think post the World Cup, the tournaments always have a different feel because teams come out of the World Cup in different states and are in different uh, status in terms of the cycle of the team. Um, and so you're not sure about the stability of teams. So the first couple of weeks is always quite interesting. You find out you know, where teams are, are going to go with their new coaches and maybe some new players and and uh, you get a better feel for the competition after two weeks. Is that an exciting challenge to you to come get on top of that as quickly as you can? Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, we've obviously got a, a, the bulk of our squad from the World Cup in 2019. Um, we've got new coaching staff, so we've got a bit to do as well. But yeah, we want to get on the front foot early. Yeah, no, it's opportunity, massive opportunity. I think, yeah, you know, again for the players, for the Saracens players, coming to England is the best thing for them. Do what they love doing. What do they love doing? Playing rugby. Who do they love playing for? Their, their club? Well, they're not playing for their club. They're playing for their country. They love playing for. So it's the best thing for them. Um, and then for the rest of the team, it's opportunity to even get tighter. Is that Uh, no, it's a good thing, mate, to play against them. Um, damp, wet, cold, stud de France, four o'clock Sunday afternoon. Can't wait to get there. Uh, young team, full of energy, full of enthusiasm. So we want to make sure the crowd doesn't get too enthusiastic. Any one of the teams with a, a new coach at the Uh, yeah, well, it's a team full of expectation now, isn't it? You know, Warren's done a great job. Uh, you know, they've got Gatlin Gates now. So every time Wayne walks through, he, he walks through, the, pays homage to, to Warren. Um, and he feels that expectation of, of what the Welsh fans and the Welsh community want. But he's had some great success with Scarlets. You know, he's got a good background through his coaching in New Zealand. Had a little bit of experience at international level with Fiji. Yeah, he's got a certain style of play that he wants to play um, and it'll be interesting to see whether he can impose that on the, on the Welsh to play at an international level. Are you looking forward to using Gatlin's game? Uh, there'll probably be a few empty pint glasses there, mate. <laughs> Yeah, well, obviously he's a, a massively influential player for them um, and someone who they look to and uh, obviously that's, uh, I'd imagine that would have something to do with, with him being picked as captain, so um, it's, a, it's a fantastic opportunity for him, um, I'm sure he'll do well in the role. Yeah, look, he's a great player, uh, Laidlaw did a great job as, as the Scottish captain, so he's there's some good footsteps to follow there for him, and I'm sure he'll adjust his job quickly. Yeah, I played against him at the weekend, actually. For um, no, he's a good player. He's obviously very instinctive. Um, can make things happen. Uh, thinks outside the box a fair bit, and he's, he's, yeah, he's dangerous to play against, so... Everybody loves what Jake. Eddie, you talked before about going to prison four, but when you play against the defence run by Sean Edwards, is that doubly difficult? And can he actually evolve when he does, or is the usual thing you expect? No, oh, well, I think he's continued to evolve. Uh, you don't stay in the game or coach as long as 
Sean has without evolving. Uh, he'll be looking at different ways to slow the ball down, uh, different ways to put pressure on on, on our on our decision makers. Um, will we see anything particularly new? Probably not, because he's only have a couple of sessions with the team. Um, but I think you'll see the attitude of what Sean likes in his defence, and that's that aggressiveness, <coughs> contest everything type approach. Are you intrigued about the combination of French there and Sean Edwards? Uh, well, it doesn't really concern me, mate. You know, that's a decision they've made. The only thing I'm concerned about is playing against them. And Evan, could you maybe explain how you see your attack and forwards evolving with the new equation appointments to sign anyone at Brantford? Uh, well, we're just in the first stages of really mm -hmm. having in-depth discussions, but yeah, there's a way to unpick teams with good line speed, and we want to be at the forefront of the teams that discover the way to unpick them. Well, it's a combination. Fours have got to create momentum that allows the backs to attack space. Um, yeah, that's been the same since uh, the ball was leather, and it's not going to change. Your forwards have got to go forward, and then you've got space for the backs, but you've got to find different ways of getting that now. Um, and, and we'd like, as I said, we'd like to be the forefront of how you do that and make teams defend differently. Like the reason slow drift went out was because teams were able to attack slow drift. So fast line speed came in and, and fast line speed's winning at the moment. We want to see if we can unpick that. And, and obviously Sean's very good at uh, catching a side to do that. So we'll have a challenge in 10 days. See how we can do it. Oh, I don't think it'd be difficult at all, no. Uh, I think behind the scenes we've had enough clarity that we're, that we're excited to get into camp and, and, and get on with the rugby. Uh, yeah, obviously, brilliant player. Um, uh, very consistent, always, always thereabouts. He's, he's competitive. That's the, that's the thing that I'd say about him. Uh, that that stands out massively for him. Eddie, um, obviously, you already mentioned how important it is at this time for the, the players to get back on the pitch. I'm wondering, for the sport as a whole, how important at a time when we're seeing a lot of distractions and things away from the field um, taking up media headlines. How important do you think this championship is and to have the fans given this opportunity to, to celebrate the game at the greatest championship? Yeah, no, look, the, the Guinness Championship uh, is the best tournament in the world. I think that's true what they say. Um, and after a World Cup, after such excitement build up after a World Cup, you want to make sure you give the fans some good rugby again. And I'm sure... There's six teams aiming to play good rugby and and once people see good rugby they tend to forget about other things. Yeah, oh, and just following up on that, obviously, um, again, Eddie said uh, you know, how important it is for you guys to um, be together as a team and to be supporting each other. Can you talk about what the atmosphere is like for you and the rest of the players at the moment and, and how much you do feel that support? Well, we don't know yet. We've we've not met up as a as a team, um, so we'll see that in the next couple of days. But we'll be honest. We'll be honest and upfront about it, and um, we'll uh, come through it and get on with what's in front of us, which is the exciting bit. I don't think England need any motivation to play against Scotland and, and probably vice versa. Um, uh, when we get to Scotland, we'll be ready for them. Uh, but we've got to get through France first. Yeah, he's a colossal player. Um, I think you've seen him always been a good lock, always been a good player. But I think his, his leadership and his captaincy of the team has grown. Um, 
and he was superb in the World Cup um, and I'm sure he's motivated to keep doing well. You mentioned the other day about the, the, this is going to be an incredibly hard moment now to form the team back together all been going on behind the scene. Have you got anything special planned for the training camp and it's like different from the in your mind to start that process? Uh, Portuguese beer will help. Uh, look, it's a matter of, 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 of getting the issues on the table and then just having a good chat and then spending some time with each other. You know, time's a big thing. You develop better relationships when you've got time and we've got a short period of time before we start a, a test match preparation and the key is going to be that we use that time really wisely. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The Welsh, Dan Bigger.